Today on Logan Lee Adventures, I moved to Buenos Aires, Argentina. So with my new remote working job, which has been an absolute dream come true to be completely flexible, I wanted to jump right into it and live abroad. Well, okay, I already live abroad. Like I'm from Canada, but I live in the Netherlands and now I just want to live abroad abroad. But you get what I mean. So let me take you with me as I settle into my new country, my new city, my new neighborhood and this new chapter of my life. Instead of flying, I took the ferry in from Uruguay to Argentina. I've never been to Buenos Aires before, never less Argentina, but I always had a fascination with this corner of the globe. To me, Buenos Aires is such a cosmopolitan that is to truly appreciate it, a few days here just wouldn't be enough. Between the legendary food scene, the friendly warm locals, then now having full freedom to work remotely, Buenos Aires seems to be a great city to start this new chapter. As Buenos Aires pulls up on the horizon from the ferry, the buildings shimmer in this ethereal light and I just knew I was in for an adventure. While I'm working full-time for my company that's back in Europe, I'm also enrolling at the University of Buenos Aires for a beginner Spanish course and going to take up learning polo. Yep, the king of sports on horse, but more on that later. And on top of all that, now doing long distance with Jeroen. Well, that is until he comes visit me, of course. Upon arriving, I ordered an Uber that took me into the city. Looking out of the car's window, I was just completely flabbergasted and amazed, just taken away that the city has this energy of Paris, New York, with its own unique South American heartbeat. Even though this is just the beginning, I just already can't wait to take you with me through my time here. And I'm buzzing to just take everything in that Buenos Aires has to offer. Driving down one of the main avenues in the city and it's just architectural hits one after the other of stunning Parisian-esque French architecture in the midst of this bustling metropolis. All right, all right, all right. Guess who just got here and checked into his apartment? Okay, so this is my apartment for my whole duration in Buenos Aires as I moved here to work remotely and to study Spanish at the University of Buenos Aires. <laughs> Yeah, lots of things going on in this city for me. But I'm gonna be here for the season in autumn for about three months. Three months. And so I booked myself an apartment on Airbnb to make my home base because I don't wanna move around constantly if I'm gonna be working and also like just living here, you know? I wanna do it all. I wanna eat. I wanna go to all the cafes, all the restaurants. I wanna indulge in the art. I wanna go see a tango show. I wanna roam the streets of Argentina. I wanna see it all. So, this is my apartment. I'm super excited about it. I just got here and honestly, I was a little nervous booking it on Airbnb because you know Airbnb is gonna be always like a hit or miss, especially for long-term booking. I've never done that before. I've only booked, you know, the longest probably is like four days during a trip, you know? I've never booked, never less, three months. Well, a place. So I was like, I hope this is gonna be good. I hope this is gonna be good. And it is exactly what it looks like. So I'll give you a room tour. Okay, I'll give you a room tour. Hold on. Maybe I should start here at the beach. So you come in, and then this is the bathroom. Look at the day. And nice green tiles. Love the green. My sink. My shower. 
you know, your standard. And then you come out here, you have, I have this. Yeah, yes. Closet. And I just drop off my bags there. I have my fridge. Nice. It's fully, so it's a full studio. So I have my kitchen counter here. And I have the kitchen here. How cute. Let's be real, I'm not gonna be cooking anything. I love cooking, you know that, you know that. I'm not gonna be cooking anything when I'm here because I'm, like I said, lots of cafes, lots of restaurants to hit up. As recommended by my Airbnb. All these, this is just a bit of it. This is just a bit of it. All right, and then I have my, my little desk here. I'm literally smack middle in the city. Love the street art there. I'm, yeah, smack middle of Palermo. So Palermo is a huge neighborhood, but I think it's the biggest neighborhood in Buenos Aires. But it is, I would equate it to like the, like Brooklyn, you know? In Brooklyn, you have Williamsburg, you have different neighborhoods, but this is Palermo, and this is a corner of Palermo, smack middle of very, I don't wanna use the word hipster. Very, <laughs> smack middle of a neighborhood filled with art scene, filled with vibrancy, filled with awesome, like just little stores, boutiques, cafes, restaurants, you name it. It is right here within walking distance of everything. So in the coming days, I'm definitely gonna be exploring a lot and taking you with me because you know, like, young pretty travel buddy. And of course, just getting to know my new home for this time while I'm living in Argentina. So nice. And also the pools, pools, because you have two pool here. So this apartment links up to this apartment. They're basically owned by the same, or the same apartment in a way. And so this is the shared pathway. Down there is the, down, down there somewhere is the gym. And then these are the pools. So one side, I mean, you can use either or. Quite luxurious. Look at this beautiful weather in Buenos Aires. <laughs> I can't get over it. I mean, this is autumn. It's actually so nice for autumn and it's completely, there's no clouds in the sky. And aside from the sweater, like, it's, it's breezy. It's a nice breeze. It's, it's like, kind of like a, just a Dutch summer <laughs> without the rain. <laughs> Okay, I had a night out last night, feeling it a little bit. I don't know how Porteños do it. That's the name for the locals of Buenos Aires uh, because literally dinner starts at 10 p.m. 
here, okay? I'm, like, I'm used to eating at 5 p.m. dinner in the Netherlands. And then from 10 p.m. dinners, then people start going out, clubbing, bars at 3 a.m., all right? Like, the city doesn't play around. So, but the, still, the start time for work is at 9 a.m., which is crazy to me. Like, how do people do that and still get up for 9 a.m.? Well, okay, I don't have work today, but I do have my Spanish class at the University of Buenos Aires, so I have to go there later on. So I figure I'm gonna get up, get going, and go <laughs> to a cafe, grab some coffee, some bites, maybe cafe hop a little bit, <laughs> do some studying in between before I go to class. So. Anyways, this is my beautiful neighborhood of Palermo, Soho that I just dragged myself out of bed to get to. Ooh, look, wait, wait, I love this building in this corner. Look how green and lush it is with the red awnings. All right, let's go get some food and coffee. All right, so I may have just moved into my neighborhood and into Buenos Aires in general. Girl, it's been like a week, give it a week, <laughs> less than a week. But what I also love about this neighborhood and what I'm just like discovering along the way are these little alleys with just treasure troves of art. Look at this. They have panels that are lifted up and there's little stickers and tags along each panel and then the next wall is all this and on the other side love this See, this is what I mean. So many more alleys with like beautiful artwork. Honestly, I always just give myself, I don't know, like a lot of time going between place to place because I just get lost and just find and stumble upon things that I like and then just am in awe in. So then I stop and look at it and then I never actually end up there on the exact time if I don't give myself enough time in advance, especially when you live in this neighborhood. Like, so beautiful. Oh, I love the colors here. Just the whole freaking street. Love these cobblestone roads. Just looks so gorgeous here. Also, it's my duty to just point out how beautiful these cobblestone roads in my neighborhood is. I just, I'm sorry, I can't get over it, okay? Okay, I can't get over it, all right? Uh, these cobblestones used to be everywhere in Palermo, Soho. I mean, Palermo is a huge neighborhood, all right? Divided between Palermo, Soho, Old Palermo, uh, Palermo, Hollywood, Palermo, Chico. That's like over. I haven't even explored that yet. Uh, but unfortunately, a lot of pavement asphalt has been used. And so now it's mostly just Palermo, Soho, so far that I've seen that has these cobblestone streets still. Took you on a whole journey through my neighborhood, but the coffee shop is right there, I swear. It's right there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> It's 
such a gorgeous morning as you can see like every single day in Buenos Aires and one of the typical dishes here in the cafe scene for breakfast is a croissant but not just any croissant you know where you have your regular croissants but then you also have your stuffed croissants and this one is stuffed with almond cream you know, or almond paste and it's so freaking delicious <laughs> Mmm. This, this is a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> made it to one of my favorite coffee places in the morning, Duca. So Duca ooh, has this beautiful rooftop terrace that overlooks my neighborhood, part of my neighborhood in Palermo. So, oh. And I got a ice flat, which I guess you could say is a flat white, but ice version. Cheers. This whole restaurant, Labo, is a such a cool vegan restaurant. It's like a whole, literally a maze slash design museum as well. Look at this. How cool is this? It looks like ceiling. Uh, should I say thundering skies? Woo. Feels so trippy in here. This bathtub. Wow. We just go You heard that? <laughs> <laughs> Made my way to Lado. Lado B. Lado 5. Lado. So basically, Lado is this vegan restaurant street food style that is really close well actually yeah right here at Plaza Serrano and Plaza Serrano I just somehow stumbled like made my way into a loop and Plaza Serrano you would say is the heart of Palermo so oh, it's like a square which we'll go to right after this and it's where everybody comes together, where it's during the day, during the night, to drink, to hang out, and then all around the plaza, there's like bars, restaurants, and of course, like just cool places to go to. And I'm just gonna order something here because I'm so hungry now. Uh, this, I guess, we went from peckish pastries for breakfast to now lunch. Let's bring it on, lunch. My vegan bows are here. So these are made of honjos. I'm mispronouncing it. I'll learn how to pronounce it properly in my Spanish class later today. It's basically, so it's mushrooms. <laughs> it's made it stuffed with mushrooms and this like barbecue sauce. So it tastes like meat, like barbecued meat, but it's barbecued mushrooms. Mmm. Wow. It is so good. Oh my god. Where I, I need to order another two. Now we're heading out to Plaza Serrano. Plaza Serrano is Bohemia. It's like the heart of Palermo, Soho, that I talked about. It's right here. 
and from here the square branches out to all these corners of Palermo literally like every single other street All right, I did say that I wanted notebooks for my Spanish class and this store is so cute. Look at all these designs. All these notebooks. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna pick one up from here. But now the hard decision is choosing which one because they're all so cute. I love them. I love these illustrations so much. Okay, this is the one I'm gonna decide on. I love this jungly theme, the leopard and the monkey. So cute. And green, one of my favorite colors. Now, this is just my first foray into Argentina's capital, so leave a comment below, give this video a like, and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be exploring more of what makes Buenos Aires just so special and how it's my new home for the new season.